Hello and welcome to the VIP. I'm your host Ryan Tiffany and tennis tryouts are on February 7th. Stop by room E5 and speak with Coach Duplain if you have any more questions. Congratulations to the band members who made the regional band. Nice job to Isaac Nunez, Colton Panatin, David Sobampo, and Camila Sanchez. Sports and Question of the Week will be here momentarily. Hello, I'm Andrew for KVHS Sports. Verano Boys Basketball is at Lake Havasu today. Boys Soccer is hosting Millennium today. Girls Soccer is at Millennium today. Girls Basketball is home versus Lake Havasu today. They are hosting Millennium tomorrow. Girls Soccer is at Camelback on the 2nd. Boys Soccer is at La Jolla on the 2nd. They wrap up their season on the 4th at Lake Havasu. Girls Soccer hosts Lake Havasu on the 4th. On the 5th, Girls Basketball is at Canyon View. Boys Basketball is playing Canyon View at the Footprint Center on the 5th. I'm Andrew reporting for KVHS Sports. Have a great day. All right, guys, welcome back to Question of the Week. I'm your host, Ryan Tiffany, and who am I with today? Colin Tibbs. And what grade are you in? I'm in 11th grade. All right, Colin, what's your favorite sports team and why? My favorite sports team is the White Sox because uh, I grew up in Chicago, so, I mean, you got to love the Sox, you know? Okay, yeah, nice. Thank you. All right, who am I with today? I'm Jack Colton. And what grade are you guys in? I'm a senior. Senior. All right, what are you guys' favorite sports teams and why? Uh, my favorite team is the Yankees because my uh, grandpa grew up there. I like the Yankees. Okay, thank you so much, boys. All right, who am I with today? Uh, Terry Barnes. And what do you do here? I'm the security guard. All right, Terry, uh, what's your favorite sports team and why? The Detroit Lions. <laughs> <laughs> because that's where, I, that's where I grew up. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. All right, who am I with today? Uh, David. And what grade are you in? Um, I'm a junior. All right, David, what's your favorite sports team and why? All right, so my favorite sports team is the Broncos because my parents asked me, like, what the coolest logo was for the football teams. So I picked that one because it was a horse. Okay, I like that. Thank you. Okay. All right, who am I with today? Um, Anthony Prada. What grade are you in? 11th. All right, Anthony, what's your favorite sports team and why? Phoenix Mercury okay. because, um, I don't know, it's just like it's unique. Not a lot of people watch it. All right, I like that, WNBA. Yeah. Okay, who am I with today? Angelica. And what grade are you in? I'm a junior. All right, Angelica, what's your favorite sports team and why? Uh, probably just like the Suns because I live in Arizona, so there's nothing else. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, this has been Question of the Week. I'm your host, Ryan Tiffany, signing off. Hey, Verado students. Penny War starts on March 14th and lasts through the 25th, so send in those bills and coins. Each class will have a collection container located in their room. Gain points by adding pennies and paper bills. You can lower other classes' amounts by adding silver coins to their jars. All money raised will be used to plant trees on the Verado campus in celebration of Earth Day. The first track and field practice of the season will be tomorrow. Your Register My Athlete profile must be complete with your physical to participate. On the way is Weather with Trevor and Sitting with Andy. Hello everyone, welcome to Weather with Trevor. I'm Trevor here for your weekly weather. So on Monday and Tuesday, it's going to be a high of 71 and a high of 69. It's going to be a low of 47 for both Monday and Tuesday. And as we move on to Wednesday, it's going to be a high of 70 and a low of 48. Thursday is going to be a high of 72 and a low of 49. As we move on to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Friday is going to be a high of 72 and a low of 49. Saturday is going to be a high of 71, low of 48. And Sunday is going to be a high of 70 and a low of 50. This has been Weather. Thank you for joining me. If you make a mistake, admit it quickly and emphatically, and don't dwell on it. John Madden. That's an impact, isn't it? I've done that one before. Sorry for that. I wasn't looking. Hello everyone, welcome back to Baking with Ben. Today I'm going to be making some fish tacos. So the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make a seasoning. So I've got one half teaspoon of cumin here, one teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna be stirring this now. Now that that's stirred up, I'm gonna take my fish here and I'm just going to sprinkle some of my seasoning just onto the fish here. 
So now that I've got that done, I'm just gonna rub some olive oil on top of it and then it's time to put it in the oven. Uh, so while that's in the oven, I'm actually gonna start on my sauce here. So I'm gonna get one half cup of sour cream here, one third cup of mayonnaise, a squeeze of lime, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Last but not least, we're gonna wanna add one teaspoon of sriracha sauce. Now we're just going to whisk it. So it just came out of the oven. I put it at 375 for 20 minutes. Uh, I would say the fish turned out pretty well. Uh, now I'm just gonna add a little bit of it to my uh, taco here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of our uh, sauce that we made earlier and I'm gonna top it with just a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more toppings. Here's some cilantro. I'm gonna add some cilantro and some pico. and just a little bit of cheese as well. All right. And then I'm also going to get some of this cabbage here. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of this on top. And this is what it looks like with it fully done. Uh, I, you can add some more toppings. I might actually add some guacamole to a future taco that I have, but for now, we're gonna try it out. That was really good. Um, so I hope you enjoyed me making some fish tacos and I will see you next time. Hey dog, why am I here? Is, uh, is everything okay? Chris, I have some really tough news. You've been diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic anemia. I've been diagnosed with, with what? I know this is really hard to hear, but this can be a life-threatening disease if not treated within a matter of months. We need to get you a bone marrow transplant stat. Check out BeTheMatch.org to see how you can help kids like Chris continue living a normal life. Remember, bone marrow donation saves lives. Register today. One more congratulations is in order for DECA members who are moving on to state. Congratulations to Abby Gales, Alex Jump, Jaden Nasser, and John Patrick Lease. And that's all we have for this edition of the VIP. Until next time, I'm your host, Ryan Tiffany, signing off.